Opposition leader Alain Chastney, in a sit-down with News Force on Wednesday, dismissed the notion that the spacious accommodations at his plush new office comes with a hefty price tag. The former Prime Minister made the media rounds during the week after an almost 100-day hiatus from the public sphere. He would again have to answer questions from the public on the issue during the calling segment of a local talk show. Jim, I have facts on that. You, you, you requested eleven thousand dollars for that rent. You better have reduced so, it for him. So, so, okay. so, 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 All right, okay, so, sir, mm -hmm. I listened to the gentleman. Mm -hmm. I'm very, very carefully. So, first of all, Parliament gives you a budget. It's not about you requesting anything. The allocation for rent is five thousand dollars. The office that we had, I used to be in that office before, it's problematic. The, to park in that area is difficult, okay? And given what we intend to do, we didn't think it was an adequate office. There's been no repairs at that office in the longest of times. So we went to this location. We understood what the allocation was. We've lived within the allocation. We have found resources on our own to add to the resources that Parliament has given us. I would never ask Parliament, and nor would I believe Parliament give me any increase. So that's one. The move from the modest and historic location on High Street, occupied by a number of former office holders, to the more upscale surroundings at Uranura House, has fueled widespread speculation and controversy. Critics want to know if taxpayers will be on the hook for a possibly more expensive arrangement. News Force reached out to Administrative Secretary at the Office of Parliament with responsibility for the Leader of the Opposition's Office, Sharon Montout. In relation to the wrinkle for the Leader of the Opposition Office, um, the Office of Parliament has a budget which states what amount of money is allocated for every item. We are constrained by the budget, and therefore, if there is any difference in the rental, this will be taken up by the occupant. Montout says the rent allocation comes at a capped cost to the Parliament. She notes that Parliament must also foot the bill for utilities such as water and electricity. We, the Office of Parliament, has to pay for the amenities. So is the new swanky office of the Leader of the Opposition, now located at Uranora House, costing taxpayers more money? Speculation was also a rife around the cost of it. Do you have anything to add to that? The cost is the same. So, I mean, remember, we live within a budget. So it's within the same budget allocation um, that we had. It's definitely, it's definitely not the same. But as I said earlier on, there is... Um, a budget allocated for, for every item. So is the, there is a budget allocated for rental and whatever difference it has to be taken up by the occupant. The parliamentary official affirms that the legislature's allocation for the office will remain within budget despite any increase in the cost for staffing, rent or utilities. Any additional costs will remain at the expense of the office holder. In this case, Alan Chastney. Sulajal Fred, HDS News Force.